Hello and welcome to Fire Tech Talk. I'm your host, Jacob Duncan, here today with George Seymour. George, it's great to have you on. Thank you, good to be here. Now, George is an NFPA certified fire protection specialist with over 42 years in the industry and multiple certifications and is a graduate of several manufacturing training programs. George, my first question, what is the purpose of a pre-engineered kitchen suppression system? Well, most people will say it's to put out the fire, but actually it's to detect the fire activate the suppression system, trip the alarm system if there is one in the building to alert the occupants so that they can evacuate the facility and notify the fire department. So my next question, what are some examples of facilities that would require a pre-engineered kitchen system? Anything with a commercial hood, and we would typically think of that as commercial restaurants, uh, nursing homes, hospitals, daycare facilities sometimes have commercial and more and more local AHJs are requiring systems in food trucks. Huh. And they had a commercial kitchen on wheels. So my next question, what is the biggest problem that you've seen with regard to inspection and maintenance of pre-engineered kitchen systems? Grease buildup. This could be the duct, the plenum, the hood itself. Inside the conduit, if it's a fusible link system, it gets so plugged up with grease that the cable cannot move. So even though the fusible link might release, the system will not activate. And when the system does not activate, the fire doesn't go out. Well, George, it's about all the time we have today. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. This has been another episode of Fire Tech Talk. I'm your host, Jacob Duncan. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.